Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and this is a great way to send a file to tell me exactly what they want to do. They want to get rid of this line. So that's a couple ways you can do it, but probably the easiest, if you click on it, you can see that it's a fill and a hair and a in an outline. So left click, right click. I didn't have to really like right click because it's already there. And you can see part of this file is like that. Probably the easiest way to fix it would be to take a two point line and segregate this line. And then you can use your virtual segment delete key to delete this line. Then you can actually take those lines away that you previously drew and grab your shape tool and delete those two nodes. Now, you could grab one node and move it there, or you could actually join them together. Uh, go up to Windows, Dockers, join curves and set it like on 0.25 maybe. Let's zoom in here to watch it work. This is always a better option. Hit apply and it's joined. Now the other one should be about the same and just take these and delete these two nodes and then select those two nodes and join them. Now in this drawing, it's pretty good, but I would, he does have X7 I know, so take the smoothing tool, maybe make it a little bit bigger, just make it just a little bit better by clicking on the object and getting rid of some of these sharp points in the drawing because your base is gonna fill this back in so Everything's going to be, uh, you know, jagged if you don't do this. And if you, you know, for the people that don't have X7 or above, you can always use the shape tool. Let me find one more jagged spot. So if you don't have X7, let's say you want to get rid of that little bump, just take your shape tool, which everybody has, and delete that node. And just go through there. Then all you have to do to get that back is take your smart fill tool, make sure it's set on your black, RGB black, if you're going to engrave it. We might have to zoom in here to make sure we to get into that little bitty space between those lines. And we got a few more. I'm going to do it real quick. I just can't stand it. I've got to smooth that stuff out. And it, and it really makes your end product a lot better when you go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Now let's take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. And you can see how you can see those little kickers. So before you fill it in, I would go around and smart, I mean, uh, polish it up a little bit, smooth it out, and then take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in. And voila, he's making it evidently an edge light going to be pretty cool. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.